It is pressure cooker time in the Champions League. Four teams are left and the stage is set for an enthralling semi-final. Who will make it through to the showpiece event? It's Milan. They take on Inter next on EA TV. A huge night and a great stadium. We're here at the San Siro. I'm Derek Ray in the commentary position and I'm joined for analysis by Stuart Robson. And on the menu, action from Europe's Premier Club competition, the Champions League. This, the first leg of the semi-final. It's Milan up against Inter. Well, this is what the Champions League is all about. Some of the world's best players, two excellent teams and a great stadium. Let's hope we're not disappointed. Milan's lineup looks like this. The goalkeeper is Ciprian Tatarushanu. Ismail Benassa plays alongside Sandro Tonali in central midfield. And leading the line today, Olivier Giroud. Inter starting lineup. Milan Skriniar plays alongside Alessandro Bastoni in central defence. Nicolo Barella plays with Henrik Mkhitaryan in the centre of midfield. And in attack, Edin Dzeko starts alongside Lautaro Martinez. And underway now in this Champions League semi final first leg. Benassa. Messias. Diaz. And making the move to the inside. A good and fair challenge. Dzeko. Chalanolu. Now Dzeko. Back to Dzeko. Well, they're moving the ball neatly enough. Just looking for that decisive pass. Could be! And there it is! The first goal in the semi-final! A huge moment! Extraordinary scenes! Well, here's the replay. Watch how he goes past his man with such ease. And it's just a change of pace. And then the finish is fairly simple in the end. That's a good goal. Well, the ball is moving once more. How important will that opening goal prove to be? Chalanolu. Barella has it. Dumfries. Oh, surely... Well, the keeper had a lot to do. Well, it's a great piece of goalkeeping. So quick off his line. Tomori. Tonali with it. It's a promising Milan move. 
Leal. Excellent defending. Dzeko. Martinez. And it's with Dumfries. With Italian. Can he take advantage? And the cross not quite imaginative enough. Still a chance. Absolutely spot on with that challenge. Henrik Mkhitaryan. A fine use of the ball. Martinez. Now Mkhitaryan. Chance to cross. Dzeko. And here's Chalanoru. Barella. He's got to score! And the keeper more than equal to it. How about the short corner? Mkhitaryan. Now with Barella. Good stop from the keeper. Short corner favoured. Barella. Opportunity here. Well, that's how to do it inside your own penalty area. Brahim. Milan moving the ball forward. What can they do from here? Oh, maybe the equaliser. Ball lost by Inter. Dzeko. Federico Di Marco. Now Dzeko. Patient build-up at the moment. Opportunity it is. And a goal it is. They lead by two now. Well, let's have another look because this is a goal they have thoroughly deserved. They've played really well so far. So back underway with the scoreline standing at 2 0. Junior Messias. And they need to get tighter here. Can he take this chance? Giroud. Giroud! And a goal! Not over just yet. Just look at his movement, he knows exactly how to find space, and it's also a tidy finish. That's a nice goal. So back underway at 2-1, tight contest here. Martinez.
It's with Diaz. Well, just one minute of time added on for stoppages here. Diaz. Now the attack fizzled out. And the first half is in the history books here at the Meazza. Well, a terrific showing from Olivier Giroud in the first 45. Stuart, I know you very much enjoyed it. Yeah, he's done OK in that first half. He's had a lot of the ball, he's used it well, and he's been energetic. But unfortunately, that can't be said about the rest of the team, who need to improve if they're going to turn this around. Second half of this Champions League semi-final first leg underway. He read the situation defensively and did his job. Dest. Junior Messias. So Junior Dest. Messias. The Rossoneri pushing forward with options available. But really sticking to their task defensively. Real chance. Oh, and it goes. Now the Just look at his strength here. He holds off the challenge, he keeps his balance, and he finds the back of the net. It's a wonderful goal. So the ball is running again at 2 all. Dzeko. Benassa. Diaz. Now Giroud. Dzeko. Martinez. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Brahim outdoing his opponent. Serginho Dest had a chance to whip it in here. Benasser. Oh, good use of the ball. Oh, a vital interception. Dumfries. Now Dzeko. Federico Di Marco. Crossing opportunity. Rafael Leao. Brahim. interception amid impending danger a danger here as he runs at them really important piece of last ditch defending Martinez Barella has it can they trouble the opposition this time And he read it well. Italian. Can they do something with this ball in? Not to be this time. Rafael Leao. A quarter of an hour remaining here. Olivier Giroud. Leao. And return to Giroud. On the ball, Rafael Leao.
Martinez. Di Marco. Alessandro Bastoni. Now Dzeko. Well, they still have designs on the win. Martinez! And just what was needed from the goalkeeper. Well, so late in the game. That's a brilliant stop from the keeper. Big moment for him. So the corner played into the box. And increasing the pressure, another corner it is. So deciding to make a personnel change at this juncture. Now sending it in. Not the best clearance. Barella. Well, a top-notch piece of defensive judgment. And so into the final five minutes. Still pushing for what could be a winner. Must take the lead here. Benasser. Leal. Must score. What a vital intervention. No nonsense clearance. Rebic, on to Giroud. Rebic. And the teams are level. And every corner counts at this juncture. And a substitution in the offing. Who can he pick out? It might still be problematic. Fantastic work to thwart the danger. And there's the final whistle. A thoroughly entertaining semi-final first leg. And I must say, Stuart, it bodes well for the return match. Yeah, fantastic first 90 minutes, wasn't it? Exactly what you want to see at this stage of the competition. Let's just hope they can replicate that in the reverse fixture. Well, I don't think, Stuart, anyone can really quibble about what he put into the game. Well, he had a good game and certainly had an impact. They may have struggled to get a draw without him today, 